What's up guys and welcome back to the 15 days of OpenCV course for absolute beginner using Python. This is the day number one and in this one you can talk about the introduction to OpenCV. I'm Chandu and I am super excited to be instructor of this course. So let's look the agenda for the 15 days of OpenCV course. So what are you going to learn on these 15 days? So first you're going to learn that introduction to OpenCV that's been this day. And also you're, we are going to see that how can you install the OpenCV and modules in OpenCV. In day number two, we see how to read, write and the show images. In day number three, we see how can we represent the image using numbers and NumPy array. Then in day number four, we discuss about the basic geometrical shape like rectangle, circle, arrow line like that. In day number five, we talk about the how can you make a camera. How can you actually use this camera to record the video? In day number six, we actually talking about the mouse event like right click, or uh, right click, or the wheel, or mouse move, and all the things. And we are going to see the examples of that. In day number seven, we talk about the track bar. This is called the highly, uh, you can say high GUI in OpenCV. Then in day number eight, we talk about the basic thresholding and its theory also. In day number nine, we talk about the adaptive thresholding. And this is the most important topic on thresholding. And you also see that how can you use this adaptive thresholding in real time. In day number 10, we talk about the blurring and how can you actually reduction the noise from the images and how can you actually smooth the images also. Then in day number 11, we talk about the image histogram. That means how the image is actually represent as a histogram. In day number 12, we talk about the EDS detection like Canny, Sobel, and so many algorithm is on OpenCV. And in day number 13, we talk about the morphological operation like dilation, erosion, and all the operation and all the algorithm we talk about with examples. In day number 14, we are going to talk about the find and draw contours from the images. And this is so more important topic on OpenCV. In last day, that means 15 days, final days, we are going to create one project that is called object detection using HSB color space. We are going to detect the object using the HSB color space. So this is the total agenda for 15 days. So now in this one, we are going to talk about introduction to OpenCV and how can you install it and some method on OpenCV. Before talking about the OpenCV, first you need to know that what is computer vision. So computer vision is a field of artificial intelligence or you can say AI that's enable computer and system to drive meaningful information from the digital images. It can be videos or other visual input. If artificial intelligence enables computer to think and computer vision is enables computer to see, observe or understand. So this is the basic thing for computer vision. So in order to making some computer vision application, you need to use one library that's called OpenCV. So now the question is, what is OpenCV? So OpenCV is an open source library which is very useful for computer vision applications. That's mean when you're going to try to build the computer vision application, you can use this OpenCV library. Basically, OpenCV is written by C++, not Python, but it widely used on C++, Python, or Java, and has more than 2,500 optimized algorithms. So many algorithms are available on OpenCV. So how do we create application for computer vision that we don't want to build from scratch? We can use this library to start focusing on real-world problems. Many researchers and many companies actually use this library, such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Twitter, and also they contribute on this open source library that's called OpenCV. Modules of OpenCV. So first module is called Core. This module actually used for basic core function like data structure function to the other modules. Second one is image prop. This module is actually used for image pre-processing. That's in on this module, there are so many classes, there are so many methods that you can actually use that for image pre-processing purpose. Third one is called IMG Codex. This is so important for reading and the writing images. And the fourth one is called Video I.O. 
this is for the video input and the output and and the fifth one is called the high gui for high level gui i talk about the track bug okay in the day number seven so track bug is nothing but for the high level gui how you need to see the video then you can understand what is track bug and how can you use the track bug for getting a bell so this is nothing but for the high level gui graphical user interface that is provided by OpenCV. and next one is called video how are you actually going to analyze the video you can use this module called video and next one is called calib 3d for camera calibration and the 3d reconstruction so how are you going to try to reconnect some images from the 2d images you can use this calib 3d and next one is called the feature 2d this is for nothing for the 2d feature framework and this is so important while you are dealing with them like feature mapping or key point detection or the description detection you can use this feature 2d this is so important and next one is called obv detect that's mean object detections so you can detect any kind of object like book pen person any kind of object that you can use this model to detect the objects and next one is so important that's called dnn for deep neural network model so if you wanted to use this deep neural network module CV, you can use this dnn module on open cv this is so important model when actually working on neural network and next one is called ml machine learning so in open cv it actually provide this module that's called machine learning that's been simply called ml and this actually basically used for the regression tax or classification tax and there are so many examples of machine learning which is actually used for regression tax that you can say let's say stock market predictions or clustering type you can classify the images and based on the cluster you can use that and next one is so important that's called f l a n l so this is for clustering and the searching in multi-dimensional space this is so important it actually it, it actually used for template mapping or clustering types of works and the plan is based for it actually called also called that first library for approximate nearest neighbor and it actually based on the clustering like you can do on machine learning that call knn like that and next one is for two so how you actually doing the some computational photography you can use this module called photo and next one is stiffing okay for image stressing you can actually use this i know you know when you actually use your mobile phone you can say uh, you can actually get one option that's called panorama it will actually uh, take some images and join them so this is called the image stressing okay you can also do that using this stressing module next one is called shape so if you wanted to detect some shape on your video on your picture you can use that and also you can actually calculate the distance of the shape you can match the distance you can actually match the images based on the shape and next one is called super resolutions super res it's actually based for based on the super resolutions if you if you know about the gan in gan we talk about uh, how can you actually generate some images and also you can also actually make some super resolution images using style GAN. you can also do that and OpenCV also provide this module to deal with these super resolutions and the next one is called video stabby this is nothing but used for the video stabilization it's so easy to use and the final one is called the BIS this is so important when you actually try to visualize some offset not in 2d mode in 3d mode you can use this brief module so now let's see how to install opencv on our system so for windows you need to type on your command prompt python slash m pip install and the library name is opencv python or you can install by a pip install opencv python if you're using the ubuntu or linux system just go on your command prompt that's on me not one it's called the terminal in ubuntu 
just type here sudo apt install python3 op3 and it will install this library on the system. Now let's see how we can install this library on our Windows machine. So now let's see how we can install this library on our system. So for that you need to open your command prompt. I am using Windows machine that's why I am opening my command prompt. If you are using Ubuntu or Linux so just open your terminal. So the shortcut of open this command prompt in Windows that is Windows R and type here cmd and it will open this command prompt here. Also you can go on your search bar and type here command prompt and you can open it from here. And just type here pip install sorry install and the library name is called opencd python enter but i get one error fatal error in launcher i'm able to create process using dash 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 so why i am getting this error because i am using multiple version of python and also one more important thing is if you don't install python on your system as a globally you get this kind of error also so make sure that you install python correctly on your system so i have one video on my youtube channel you can also check it out link will be the description you can check it out from here how can you install python on your system correctly and this pip install opc python also work on your system if you are using single version of python but in my case i am using multiple version of python you can also learn that how can you deal with the multiple version this is so important also so i am using two versions of python first one is the python 3.8 and the second one is python 3.6 okay so now let's see how can we actually manage them how can we install this library on different different python version let's see how can you do that so this is the path for python 3.8 you can see python 3.8 so this is the interpreted name so interpreted name is python and you can see her second interpreted name you can see python 3.6.5 and this is my interpreted name so we can use them python 3.6 in theoretical part we see that for windows we type here python underscore m pip install opencd python so underscore m is nothing but for multiple version of python because we are using this multiple version of python so we can use this first one so now let's see how can you deal with them. So our Python 3.8.5 interpreted name is just Python. Okay. M pip install opencd python. Okay. So this is nothing but for the Python 3.8.5. Okay. And you can see a requirement already satisfied. That means it's already installed in my system. So now for Python 3.6.5 our interpreted name is python 3.6.8 sorry python 3.6.6 ctrl c python 3.6 past it enter and it's also installed in my system in python 3.6 but when i type here python and you can see here it said python 3.8 why this interpreted name is python that's why it's called python 3.8.5 so if i exit here and type here sorry python 3.6 and you can see here interpreted is now on python 3.6 so now let's check check here what are the version and how can import them let's say import cb2 and it will import this library on this terminal just a few seconds okay so this coding shell is executed so we can also check it here from uh, the version of the uh, opencb dot underscore underscore so underscore underscore version so you can see here we actually using this opc version that's called 4.5.2 we can also check the version of python 3.8.5 also so you're going to say that exit and let's type here python the interpreted name for python 3.8.5 so now we're going to import the cb2 then cb2 dot version okay and this version also same for 3.8.5 this is the latest version of opencb so we are done to installing this opencb library on our system so this is the video hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and you need to also support me a lot because i need support 
to actually going through this uh, 15 days course and till then take care and i will be back the day number two in day number two we talk about how can read write and show the images using OpenCV. thank you and bye bye